Hello everybody, Joe Baggy Donuts here. Welcome back for another episode of Boomy Necker. Last time we left off, it's not looking uh, so hot for a boy battler, you know. Kind of, uh, kind of coughingly walking himself into a corner, but hey, what can you do? You know, live to learn. You know, uh, you know, he might, might, uh, get a black eye from all this, but as long as he learns from his mistakes, all the better, you know? Yeah. Anyway, what did I do yesterday? Uh, yeah, I said I was going to record later again that day, last episode. Yeah, that never happened. Uh, I decided to re-download Final Fantasy XIV because I was bored. And, uh, yeah, still uh, still a good game. Also, I'm, uh, I'm learning keyboard. You know, n not, not the instrument, how to play FF14 on my keyboard instead of using the controller. Uh, not so bad once you redo all the key bindings because... The default key bindings are absolute fucking dog shit. Like, you're you're moving with your WASDA keys, but then, like, the hot bars for actions go all the way over to, like, fucking zero. And then the, the like, hot key to switch over to your second uh, the bar is control. So try to hit control your WASDAs and fucking zero all at the same time. Like, I'm physically not able to do that, because I have little baby girly hands. Which, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's just the truth. And, uh, yeah. I haven't had any coffee today, and I'm feeling it, and I just woke up, and my sinuses are... Not, like, congested, but I can feel they're puffy. So I sound like... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm getting, like, a reverb from, like, above my, like, the palate of my jaw. Of my mouth. Weird. Weird feeling. Anyway, the entrance to the mansion was locked, but Erica had a master key, so she opened it without any trouble. She had gotten Krauss and the others to take the master keys from the servants, and at that time, she had used a little sleight of hand to pilfer one of them. I was wondering why the music was so muffled. Someone had left the, the stereo playing inside the mansion. Yep, let's go check on our boy. Grinning, Erica cut across the entrance hall, passed by the dining hall, and headed deeper and deeper into the mansion. She headed for the guest room Battler had lain dead in. Battler could put off deciding whether the seals would remain intact or not until the moment right before Erica witnessed them. However, once she did witness them, the Game Master would have to show her what had happened to them. In the Witch's game they were in now, the simple act of going to check the seals around the guest room was an attack. Ah, Good. All right, you're acting confident. Yeah, don't go shooting yourself in the foot, bud. The piece Erica held high in the air was the White Queen, which represented herself. Her target was Battler's territory. She cut straight in. Erica dashed out of the hall oh. with a sickening smile and clung to the guest room door like a spider. Then she closely examined the seal she had placed retroactively. I mean, I'm pretty sure she would say that either way, but... Which is it? Thank you, thank you for explaining the, the situation to the audience, Beatrice. Like, I know I'm not very smart, but, you know, I, I at least think 
I'm sharp enough to pick up on the very basics of the situation. But the sentiment is appreciated. That's a bad way of going about things, bud. Going off of, oh, this is fine. I was able to do it last time. So I don't have to worry about it this time. Alright. <laughs> Erica destroyed the duct tape seal on the door in ecstasy. It looked as though the intellectual rapist had finally laid her true nature bare. <laughs> like a ruffian pushing down a weak girl. Erica mercilessly and greedily threw the door open. Then, finally, the inside of Battler's guest room was observed by Erica. Battler had to show. Was there a corpse, or wasn't there? Alright, Terry. Don't want to get hit by Erica's Buster Wolf. Battler grabbed a black piece from the board and raised it high. Ah, that piece. Vito had no memories of the time she had been an expert this, at this game. And yet, for some reason, she realized this was a move from which there would be no coming back. Once a piece was moved, it couldn't be taken back. There you go. That's all you're getting out of this thing. The guest room was covered by a silent darkness. It was pitch black and nothing could be seen. However, there was a light switch just off to the side of the entrance. If that was pressed, the room would be lit up and everyone could see whether or not there was a corpse on the bed. Oh, okay. You must be, uh, must think you're in a pretty advantageous position to start bargaining. Or offering bargains. I'm not interested in being dealt with by you. Yeah. She's just trying to, you know, string it long enough until you eventually self-destruct. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was real fucking dumb. I don't know why you did that. With a firm voice, Bieto urged her to continue. Until just a second ago, she had remained behind Battler's back, a bit flustered. However, she was steady now. She saw that Battler had let his emotions take control, had been lured into making a bad move, and realized that it was time for her to stay cool and support him. Erica's proposal couldn't be anything good. And on top of that, Erica was sly. She probably wanted to make a proposal that would be easy to reject.今から
もし消失していたら。Oh God. Got some static from my headphone right there. Blowing my ears out. Ito already knew. She knew the move that Battler had made a second ago. Battler had already disappeared from this room. Therefore, they would need to prepare a different disappearing trick. One, another, one other than he was actually alive and left through the door. The situation is simple. First, this room is a locked room. Also, Battler's life or death status has not been confirmed. In other words, it would pose no problem if he was alive. Under these conditions, they had to make Erica think that Battler had disappeared. He could escape from the room, or if that's impossible, he could hide somehow and wait for her to leave, making her think that he disappeared. <laughs> この部屋からバトラーを脱出できるロジックを構築できず物語を破綻させゲームオーバーになりますそれを避けるべきだったのはロジックエラーをめぐるエンドゲームでは、より精密さを増した戦いをすべきですそうまた、私たちは赤と青
man's bluffing with like a two, a seven, you know, like one ace. Let's say a seven. I don't know. Queen. You know, not enough to get a straight, nothing matching to get a flush. But he's already fucking all in. あんたならどうするよ。助言はしないわ。でも感想は言わせて。いや、いい。そう苦しくするわ。あんた、この役なしの手で駆け金だけのブラフで。エリカを降ろせる気でいるのね。降りないわよ、あいつは。今むしろチ
お任せよ我が主ナイトオンクリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリッククリックいや、俺の手だ。俺が言おう。OK。ベッドの上に、後ろにはバトラーが、いない。グッド。Now ain't that a pickle. How did that happen, b a t l e r よく勝負を逃げませんでしたね。敬意を表します。レートの高い勝負ってことは、お前だって負けた時の試合内が多いと言うから、覚悟はあるんだろうな。Does it really matter if it gets you killed? Jibun ni yuri de aru jishinga nai kagiri. Hitoa reto a g e t a r i nanka s h i m a s e Dora n o r kiroku o torina s a y o i t Put on your little secretary glasses and start typing. At the lender's nod, Cornelia, who was hanging back, started taking a record. She wrote down that Battler's corpse, which should have been on the bed, was not. And also, that battler had him back down from this locked room game. Battler no shotewa Yoko Kudori no Shitai Shoshi Karayo. Sugi wa Erika no Teba. Dozo Ushiromi a Battler ga Iki Tate. Shitsnai no Dokoka no Kakrete no Kano Sei no Teji. All right, starting with the simple ones. Soreo Aoki Shinjits de Mukoda Soreo Aoki Shinjits de Katarina. Gutai Tekna Basho Shimeste Morao. <laughs> Zen k i n o game no Kinzo no Shosai. We a e Dora no Ni met the Uchini Sareta. Sky she, the Waki Kashida Saga she has made a mine. Saga Sazen is Kyra out is in it. Hakin Kano, the Kakustovida X no Kano say. So no Naka and Kakurete Ido Tame. Watashi wa Hakin Kuno. Are we still going by Nox's rules? ノックス大さん、yeah. 秘密の通路の存在を禁ずだったな客室内にエリカさんに発見不能な隠れ場所は存在しませんノックス第三条有効ですグッドでは早速捜索を開始しましょうあれいエリカスローリーピンとワークアラウンドルーム Until the end game had started, Eric had been energetic, jumping about impatiently like a hungry dog. However, now that it had actually begun, this was a stifling battle of wits where each breath made her tense. Even the quiet sound of the rain was distracting. ベッドルームとバスルームの2部屋構想となってエリカ共和現在ベッドルーム部分の全てを捜索しました例外は1箇所のみその1箇所は今も保留しますその結果ベッドルーム内の異常はありませんでした例外1箇所を除きベッドルームに誰の姿もありません例外1箇所とは何だいやらしい言い方をせずに公表しろ伏せたカードは伏せたままだから意味があるんです。That's because of the man eater bug, and as soon as you attack, it'll flip over and、uh, destroy your monster. 必要とあらば開きますのでお楽しみに。Man, fuck man eater bug. After thoroughly checking the bedroom, Erica headed for the bathroom door. Since he wasn't in the,、uh, wasn't in the bedroom, it's natural to think that he was in the bathroom. And since the guest room was made up of two rooms, the battler wasn't in the bathroom either. It would mean that he had managed to vanish from the locked room. Except for the single location which Erica had intentionally left unchecked. Bath room will see that in us. Erica, you know, the car and his auto got to go in us. Was going to make him up. Eh? Masaka shall watch you this to go. Cardi and Paka things. She's going to barge in on him? Yeah. かかっていない。開ければいい。では、失礼させていただきます。Slowly, Eric put her hand on the doorknob on the bathroom door. 
She tried to push it open, but felt a strange resistance. Of course, it wasn't the resistance of, a, of the lock. It felt as though it had an unnatural load on it. Out from the slightly open crack poured the hot air from the shower. However, it was unlocked, so there probably wasn't any there probably wasn't anyone taking a shower. After letting a dumbfounded expression rise through her face, Erica slammed into the door with the whole body, knocking it open. <gasps> Nani? Oh, a wire? Okay. As soon as she opened the door, a tempest of hot air and water blasted her. Erica was thrown for a loop and unable to understand what had happened. After falling backwards on her butt, she realized that the boiling hot shower water was spewing out at her, and hard. You like, ripped the shower head off? <laughs> Cursing, Erica wrapped the bling from the bed around herself and tried to enter the bathroom once more. This time, she was able to figure out what was going on. It was an elaborate prank. A wire fixed the shower nozzle in place so that it pointed at the entrance. The pressure and heat were turned up to the max, so that anyone who went through the door would be met with a wave of hot water. The pressure was very strong, which probably accounted for the weight she had felt when trying to push the door open. From that kind of shower head? No, you, you wouldn't feel that. She tried to make the nozzle point in another direction. But, not only was it fixed and placed by the wire, it was also fixed in a place high enough that Erica couldn't reach it with her height. Just gonna have to combine with the lander, I guess. She tried to turn off the pressure, but that was also held in place by wires. She couldn't manage anything with her bare hands. She would probably have to get a tool that could cut the wires. However, when she glanced into the bathtub, which was filled to the brim with very hot water, she saw a bundle of wires and a pair of nippers that had been used to cut them lying at the bottom. If she used those, she could turn off the pressure. Uh, uh, was this fucking a Saw movie? The blanket she had used to protect herself from the shower became more and more drenched with boiling hot water. At this rate, she'd get burned to move the blanket. She needed to turn the water off uh, quickly. Also, the shower head's been running for like hours, probably. Like, how how much hot water does this building have? I mean, it would make sense that they would have like you know several water heaters because uh, you know it's just the, just the size of the building and how many baths they would have. But still, the bill is not going to look pretty at the end of the month. Looking next to the bathtub, she spotted a long-handled body brush hanging there. Perfect. Erica used that to skillfully scoop up the nippers off the bottom of the tub. Fortunately, it was a shallow, western-style bathtub. If it had been a deep Japanese one, it probably would have burned her badly. Making sure not to touch the hot metal parts, she carefully took the nippers and cut the wire around the faucet. Take that, and that! What was the point of this? Was this just, you know, to get more time to think? <sighs> she finally closed the faucet and the heat from the hot water storm died down. For a while, Erica was forced to cool her almost burned arms under running water. <laughs> Yeah, I have sensitive skin on my face. Erica had finally regained enough of her composure to be abusive. She closed the faucet completely, and silence returned to the bathroom. After that, all that remained was Erica's heavy breathing. She turned on the fan to get rid of the hot steam. She left the bathroom for a moment until that was finished. It was pleasant, like stepping into an air-conditioned room on a hot summer's day. 
ふざけた罠ですねしかしこれは剣士時にはなかったものですよってこの罠の出現により後ろ宮バトラが生きていたことが証明されましたねまあもっとより死んでいるとも思っていませんでしたがバレているカードを堂々と晒してきたというだけの話ですではバスルームの中を確認しましょうバトラの姿は Don't look like it. バスルームに誰の姿もありませんグッとこれで私たちは例外一箇所を除いて客室にバトラが存在しないことを確認しました What, him, you know, No, that one location just said he's there. Completely corn. What? Huh? Clearly, there's no actual cock. in the h e a e t a Previous period of silence, complete except for the rain, was suddenly replaced by the overpowering smell of a burning fuse. Though it was extremely quiet, the room was filled with tension, as though you could as as though you could be sliced in half if you relaxed for an instant. A cloud of gold butterflies gathered on the room's round table and turned to a witch's chessboard. It was finally time for the siege. あなたはこの部屋から消失などしていません。姿を隠し、あたかも密室から消え去ったかのように錯覚させただけです。隠れた場所は、私がまだ調べていない、例外一箇所。As Erica lightly raised her right hand, a single gold butterfly appeared from the darkness behind her. Flitted between the index finger and middle finger of Erica's raised hand and became a white piece. Then, she lifted it high into the air. So, the legacy of the case is the walk-in closet. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Like a white bolt of lightning striking the earth, the white piece honed in on the weak spot in Battler's territory and slammed into the board. As bad etiquette, don't jostle the board. So, here it is. With a crash, the door of the closet, which was just off to the side of the guest room entrance, was impaled by a spear that represented the blue truth. l e n n a r had spun around and thrown it. The door was completely pierced, and the spear stuck in so deeply that if a human had been hiding in it, it would have been struck through their chest as well. Its still, its, its still quivering handle was a testament to the force with which it had been thrown. ここしか隠れる場所はありませんあなたは今この中に隠れているのですどうですパトラソン心臓のど真ん中をひとつきでまさにスマザードメイトってところですかバトラさん次はあ,あ yeah, that doesn't make it any easier そうだろうと思ったぜエリカわざと一箇所を残し相手を棺桶に追い詰める前回のゲームで金蔵を夏日の部屋に追い込んだのと同じ手だそんなの読んでいたぜおやそうでしたかでは王子をお願いします What? Oh, when she was distracted with the、uh, with the shower head he was able to slip out しかし予告しますしてみろあと2手であなたをチェックメイトしますこれが予告です yeah, なら俺も同じ予告だ俺もまたお前をあと2手でチェックメイトする面白いじゃない<笑>矛盾した予告だわ嘘つきはどっちになるのかしら The air crackled and sparked. The silence would hurt one's skin. Deva, those are such a lot of events. 
無駄ですあなたたちの勘をけごときでバトラさんを捕らえることなどできませんキャプフォーカスケットアニウェイでイズユーリカリーこれが俺の The difference between the casket and the coffin are the shape Caskets are、uh, rectangular and coffins are like, you know, the stereotypical one you see vampires in, you know, octagonal or whatever. Octagonal or are they hexagonal? Hold on. One, two, three, four. No, they're octagonal. Okay. Slowly, Valor held his hand over the chessboard. A gold butterfly that had appeared from the darkness rested on Valor's finger and became a black piece. That black piece was the king, which represented Valor himself.、Oh バトラはクローゼットに隠れているへの俺の一手だくらえ牛尾宮バトラ客室内に存在しないクローゼットも含め一切の例外なくだ、right. Like a black bolt of lightning this time Battler slammed his piece down on the white piece of Erica's that had cut deep into his lines Smashing that piece completely. As gold sprayed everywhere and a faint cloud of gold dust hung in the air, Erica's piece melted beautifully into the darkness. You probably don't want to breathe in gold dust.、Uh, pretty bad for you. Yeah. ね、えー、ますよその一手はね I mean, yeah. Next was Erica's turn. The gold butterfly fluttered in front of Erica, and she grabbed it right out of the air with a swipe of her hand. She then lifted that hand into the air and raised the white piece high. Sakanobori Teo Sengen Shimas. Kono Hea ni Fuin Yo Yabut de Haita. Ichiban Sai Shono Jiten Des. Ani Toki, Watashiwa, Suguni Tobira O Shime, Chain Loko Kakenao Shi. Come on, Fujimashta. Yigi Shinsei, Jiken Hakakuji. Goda got Chain was a stun starsta. Chain Loko Kino Shina Ijo. I mean, not really. If it's like a shitty little chain, but like I'm looking at mine, I can probably like bend that thing with the force of my own hands if I tried really, really hard. All you have to do is take the broken links out and connect the other two together. I mean, There should be enough slack to be able to do that. Sure. I guess that works. Yeah, she just ripped them off and like stuck them to each other to make a longer piece and just wrapped it up again. Mm-hmm. So she's still able to use it because we're in the room. Oops. You got word games. ガムテープの封印によって、チェーンロックが修復されて、元の機能に復帰していることを宣言します。そしてそれにより、私は入室と同時に施錠を行い、この客室を内側より再び入室としました。Oops! 
This move would draw a battler's king, drag it to the guillotine. The piece for the chain lock was slammed down on the square of battler's king's throat. Battler's face contorted. Yuto, who was watching from behind, grimaced even more. This move was very painful. If his logic was that he had hidden in the closet until Erica passed by, and then used the uproar on the bathroom to escape, then the chain lock must have been unset. In other words, he couldn't respond to this repetition request. And if he didn't respond, Erica's very next move would be to use the blue truth. She would say, you hid in the closet, then use the disturbance of the bathroom to escape. Since you couldn't set the chain lock from the outside, you left it undone. And she would be right. That would be checkmate. As Erica had predicted, she would strike the finishing blow in the second move. And on top of that, she would probably use the disappearing battler to fully explain almost all the tricks behind the crimes that were to follow. Losing the battle over this locked room would steal a major deciding piece from Battler. But what if he was able to respond to the repetition request? What if you could say the lock created by the chain is still intact? That would be fatal to Erica. It had already been shown with the red truth that this guest room could only be made into a locked room from the inside. So, this hopeless locked room would instead become Erica's coffin. With a riddle this tough, Erica would probably be forever unable to solve the mystery of Battler's disappearance. And even a single unsolved riddle would mean victory for the witch side. Battler wanted to respond to this repetition request if at all possible. However, if he responded, if he answered by saying that the chain was still set, he would have to abandon the logic saying that he escaped while Erica wasn't looking. Because after his escape, he wouldn't be able to set the chain lock again. The new riddle would put Erica in a much more difficult situation, but it would require him to construct a different escape method. Even a single, even uh, words, even a move such as him leaving a closet during the chaos in the bathroom and hiding another place, say under the bed. I was just about to bring that up. Wouldn't work because he had already proclaimed that Battler does not exist within the guest room, which is why I did not bring it up. If he could construct that logic, allow if he could construct logic that allowed him to escape from here while leaving the chain lock intact, then Erica would be the one facing a fatal blow. However, if he didn't have that logic, if he failed, it would be a logic error. The worst and most abominable legal move that would instantly end the game in his defeat. He would have no way to recover. For Battler, deciding how to respond to this repetition request it was a very advanced and difficult decision. Either way, Erica would probably corner Battler. <laughs> you doubling down? Battler-san, <laughs> If I can somehow deceive the chain lock, I can make Erica have to deal with a terrible locked room. We'll probably finish her off. But in order to do that, I need to make a trick for escaping this room, which remains sealed until Erica returned to him and which was sealed by a chain immediately after Erica entered. And on top of that, I have to make sure that the chain that can only be set from the inside remains in place. If I can do that, if I can figure a way out, then it, and then it all ends here. But I still can't think of that trick. Right now, Eric is asking me to repeat whether the chain lock is still set or not. I need to decide whether I'll take that challenge or back down, and I need to do it right now. If I have a certain win trick, then this is where I should fight. But if I don't have that trick, I should just acknowledge that I slipped out of the closet, undid the chain, and escaped, and back out of the fight. 
I say the chain was set without a trick up my sleeve, then it's impossible for me to escape. In other words, it's a logic error. I mean, yes and no. Like, yeah, you still have a chance, but at that point, the the momentum is just snowballing in Erica's favor, and there's pretty much no way to recover. You're just going to be fighting, you know, a losing retreat the entire way to the end. Battler's point was a valid one. Battler was the only one alive and free to move while all the other humans were locked in the guest house. Erica would probably name Battler as the perpetrator for all of the following impossible crimes and base her blue truths around that. Battler wanted to forcefully turn that one around on her. He would have to rewrite his tricks and logic so that someone other than Battler would be able to set, uh, would be set up as the perpetrator. To fix up one flaw, he would have to create new flaws, and the flaws might eventually pile up and kill Battler. Even running away would mean tightening the noose around his own throat. First truth that Battler is the culprit has already been hit upon. But I'm still going to stubbornly refuse to give in. Somehow, fight to get out of this. I need to fight. This is a make or break moment. I've definitely been cornered into a dangerous spot. However, if I can nimbly switch gears, everything might turn around at once. If I can just make this chain my weapon, I can kill Erika. <laughs> Nope. Choose, choose the two of these equally bad options. Yep. Highly doubt, but yeah, I got no option but to roll the dice, I guess, if you're fucked either way. He just miraculously quantum shifted. It's crazy. Yeah. I can finish things with this move, and as I predicted, I can kill Erica on my second move. I still can't think of a trick for escaping this locked room. However, there has to be something. There has to. And once I think of it, I can make a magic illusion of me changing into a butterfly and slipping out like smoke out of the crack of the chain locked door. If I have even a drop of that mad mage's blood in my veins, I can have just a shred of the glorious miracle he was able to bring about. Share it with me now. Yeah, just take a hit of Kinzo's prized opium pipe. And think of a fantastic move. And think, just, just talking about opium reminds me of the one story I heard from one of my coworkers, one, one of my older like master sergeants. He was talking about like when he was in Afghanistan or whatever. You know, they'd have meetings with with like the the Afghan guys. And they would just come in, and they would pop down a bottle of opium on the table, and they would dip their cigarettes in it before they started smoking. 
and they'd be like, you want some? And they're like, uh, nah, we're, we're good. Man, wild. Slowly, Mallory's hand stretched out, it, stretched out to his king piece on the board. He lifted it up and slowly held it aloft, tracing a large circle in the sky. Would Battler respond, or wouldn't he? Would the lock caused by the chain be preserved, or wouldn't it? Would Battler's king crush the piece of the chain lock that stood right in front of it? Or would it slip away like a ghost and escape? I don't know, man, you don't sound too confident. Battler's king became the black lightning bolt and crashed down onto the board. Where had it gone? The top of the piece of the chain lock? Or past that piece? Alright, double down. Battler's king had left the chain lock piece in its place and had slipped past it. Hmm, yes. Would you mind explaining how? うしろみやバトル。Uh, on the surface, it seems pretty fishy. You're it's already in red, no take backsies. Logic error only becomes established when the witch admits to it. As long as they keep thinking about new logic by which they could escape, they will not die, cannot die. However, it is like being imprisoned in an endless living hell of the mind. Mm -hmm. You'll be in limbo. うん。Huh? Uh, no, wait. I can see I can see vanilla and soy sauce actually going together pretty good. The saltiness tends to bring out the the sweet flavors. Uh 
I'm actually a huge simp for like vanilla bean too. Yeah. People complain about it being too like default yeah. flavor, but it's only considered like one of the defaults because it is so good. Want to believe, but it's it's not looking so good. Yeah, I think it's just because the ゲーム最後の最後で might have been the rank of the hand in Vieto's grip as she fell. Vieto passed away without realizing that she had already won. In that final game, the true victor was Vieto. I don't know if it's just this track that's a little loud or the voices that are a little quiet. I know, perfect perfect time for this in the middle of uh middle of this big epic moment. Voice volume up a little bit. Yeah, you could, could have a moment. Real cool. Like. All right, I didn't, I didn't need that. これができたらまさに魔女。この throwing a lot of loaded words around right there. Be a shame if that weight of the load turned around and crushed you. Tote With sweat gathering on her forehead, Lambda Delta inspected the movements of the pieces from Battler's side. She was as accurate and meticulous as an archaeologist, just as Bern Costello had told her to be. <laughs> After gulping stiffly, Lambda looked between the formation of the pieces on the board and Battler's face, which remained tense but steady. Lambda? <laughs> ロジックが通るわけがない。神様。エリカ。何です。とても残念だ。どっちの意味にも取れるような。楽しかったぜ。<笑> yeah. だから、どっちの意味だって言ってんですか。正式に。判定は。判定は。うん。ひぐ。こう。嘘よ。
That's been one masterclass of a move. It's got me stumped. No, it's fine. You were just being reasonable. 100% in your right to be like, I don't know about this one, bud. Yuto flew on the battler's chest, sobbing. Erica staggered backwards, shaking her head back and forth dizzily. And Burn Castell? Her face was like an expressionless mask. And slowly, it became a smile. For some reason, it seemed the sign of some horrible emotion. With her small hands, the laner slowly started to applaud quietly. She was followed by Gertrude and then Cornelia. And then by Beato and Lambda Delta too. Applause filled the room. I'm with you, bud. As Lambda Delta watched Erica, who was stunned and moaned in shock and from despair, she couldn't accept. She had to take her hat off to the strength of Battler's heart and intelligence at this critical moment, and the power of his miracles. Incredible, Ushurmiya Battler. I was so wrong to think that your power and Beato's would cancel each other out to bring him an eternal draw. I've suffered total defeat. And Burn, who realized your true strength, but thought she could get you to do what she wanted. Well, she suffered total defeat too. Burn is the witch who waits for miracles. You are the witch who summons miracles. You are not Burn's peace. In this moment, without a doubt, you have surpassed Burn. The fact that you only took a moment to think of a trick to escape this locked room really is nothing short of stunning. As Erica predicted, Balor had been hiding in the closet. Then, during the chaos in the bathroom, he had snuck out the door. Erica had guessed this much. She retroactively set the chain lock and sealed it to prevent Battler from doing this very thing. The chain lock cannot be reset from the outside. So, it should have been impossible to escape from the locked room. However, by thinking outside of the locked room, Battler broke through. We can use anyone to explain it. But let's go with the piece of Kyrie, his mother. Just like Battler, the other victims of the first Twilight have not been confirmed dead with the Red Truth. In other words, just like Battler, the others, including Kyrie, can still move. And their locked rooms are not sealed, so they can go out as they please. Kyrie came to save him. Kyrie followed behind Erica and waited in the hallway while the latter entered the guest room and sealed the door from the inside. Then, after Valor undid the chain lock and escaped, she entered the room in his place. Then, Kira reset the chain lock from the inside and hid in the closet, just like Battler had done. Yes, it's true that Battler isn't inside the guest room right now. However, that doesn't mean no one else is inside it. Kyrie took Battler's place in the closet, the one exception that Erica left unchecked, and is there still. Kyrie saved Battler. He's not in the closet. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, smooth and a little too uh, 
Ooh, sailing a little too smoothly there. キリエにバカを助けられない赤き真実はないわ。というかあんた、どうして赤き真実が使えるの? どうしてどうしてあんたがそれを許可できるのよ有効よ公正なジャッジメントとして私がこの赤き真実を保証するわ理由の開示なくすぐに開示するわ。すぐにね。of キリエの部屋を封じることはできないはず。なのにどうしてキリエにバトラが救えないなんて赤き真実が使えるの？赤き真実の拠点がないわ。根拠はすぐに教えるよ。さあ、それよりラムがキリエではロジックを通せなくな
Finally, Biuto realized everything. Yes, the detective's authority bestows several powers that are useful for reason, but it eliminates one single privilege. That is Nox's seventh commandment. It is forbidden for the detective to be the culprit. But if the culprit confesses they are dead, then that's that, I guess. ガムテープの うまく私を追い込んでいこうと is the human lying in front of you alive or dead? You can answer the question by examining the corpse. With just a quick glance, your chances of being right are 50-50 either way. Various bits of knowledge and experience can be used to obtain a more precise result. However, no matter how much you do that, while you can reach up to 99%, you can never reach 100% accuracy. That's what most people would think. However, there is one way. One way to conduct a perfect examination. Be the one to commit the crime. そして、それはできることなら彼らがおとなしく駒置き場に退場してくれて、以後のゲームをおかしな形で書き回さないでくれることが望ましいのです。だから私は慌ただしい屋敷内を駆け巡り。全て電波を訪れ、ぜひ、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、
厨房からゴミ用の大きなビニール袋を持ってきて放置そしてビニールで死体全体を覆いながら作業すれば帰り地はほとんど防げますもちろん包丁もビニールも人数分用意し現場にそのまま捨てていきました下手に持ち歩いて地元を廊下に走らせたり自分の服を汚したりなんて無様なまねは一切しません現場には私の指紋のついたビニールなどが残されているでしょうか警察が来るまで物語が続かないこのゲームでは何の物証もありませんから捨てていって何の問題にもならないふざけるなそんなのミステリーで許されると思ってんのか Hey man, we're playing fast and loose with this game. You already know that. ファンタジー側の魔女に言われるとは心外です。ご安心を。あなたは殺していません。時間の都合で最後に発見されたバトラさんだけ切断の時間が取れなかったのです。ですので、いただいた残ペープで部屋ごと封印させてもらったわけです
それによって矛盾な生じたロジックを新しく再提示する義務がある肺は肺に塵は塵に死体は死体にさあバトラさんゲームを続けましょうあなたと入れ替わってくれる人間を他に提出してくださいでないとあなたのトリックロジックエラーになりますよ There's now no one who can come to the rescue. Eric has killed every last one of them. Except they're sealed in. Yeah, but getting an excuse to get them over here. You're kind of slipping, bud. <laughs> okay. Both rooms are sealed. Please don't fucking uwu us. Uwu batwasan. Erica, who was now so excited that her pronunciation was tumbling all over the place, pointed at two doors. It was the hallway on the second floor of the guest house. They were in front of the cousin's room and the next room over. Yep. So it appears. Oops. Oh my god! Yes, most certainly appears to be intact. ブラレテイナイモノトシリタマイヤブラレテイナイムイントはスナワチイマダナニモノノデイリコバミタルコトノアカシトシリタマイフウイオヤブラズシテムデイリアラタメテユニオヤバズスカノトシリタテマツレグ
and her beautiful checkmate. The man from 19 years ago coming to the rescue. Yeah, it's not looking so hot. ガイデリ。バトランは2つの権利と1つの義務があった。オッケー。1つの権利は新しいロジックを構築して、あなたの密室脱出トリックを再び完成させること。もう1つ and if you can't do one, you have to do the other. <laughs> Time to start pacing back and forth in circles. I kind of wish my house had a, had a nice, you know, setup, well, or like, I don't know, design, architecture-wise, where I could just pace around in circles. My house growing up had that. There was like the, uh, the center staircase to go upstairs, and uh, you know, on the underside of the stairs was this door to the basement, and there was essentially the entrance way in front of like the main staircase, two hallways on either side, and then another hallway on the back. And I'm one of those people that like whenever I'm on the phone, I need to walk. So I'd be on the phone, you know, whatever, doing talking, doing shit or whatever, and I'd just be able to walk in circles around that staircase. Great for thinking. <laughs> I mean, there has to be. Otherwise, you know, the story ends. Yep, it's all on the table. Biato felt awful. Why was she Biato and yet not? Surely, the older would have thought of a trick under these restrictions. Well, she could do that. She could guide Valor to victory. But she couldn't do it as her current self. <laughs> also, we still need to resolve the, uh... The Zephyr Fudufu fucking reality TV show. Then, <laughs> Batora. <laughs> Just, just thinking a lot of plot points that we, we can, we can touch back to. Once again, they return to the slightly chilly guest room. It was the same room as before, of course, but it felt as though an unsettling darkness had crept in. There we go, that explains the, uh... The, uh, the scenes in the room we've seen. まず、この部屋は内側から作られた密室です。窓の封印は現在ですので、窓からの脱出はありません。バスルームからの脱出方法も持ち、はっきり断言しましょう。この扉以外に。脱出口はありません。しかし、この扉にはチェーンロックがかかっています。外すのかけ直すも自由ですが、それは内側からしかできません。そして扉から出ることさえ自由ですが、チェーンロックがかかっていない状態での退出は脱出とはなり得ません。
慈悲深い我が主による救済です涼しんで All right, let's hear it. Bergsell guided Battler to the bathroom. It was just a normal bathroom. The setup intended to surprise Erica if by Battler time was no longer working. However, the bundle wire and nippers had been used that had been used to prepare uh, boom. However, the bundle of wires and the nippers that had been used to prepare that trap still lay in the empty bathtub. <laughs> Yep, no slipping a wire under the door for the crack. What, just hang yourself with the wires? Yep, straight into the afterlife. Yep, just gotta cut yourself up in a little bit. Escape through the train? How? You could have been using those nippers for a hundred years to widen that hole, right? Baller and Biato had already realized. They had figured out this demonic way out that the demons were proposing. Man, that hurt like a motherfucker. Those little dykes? I mean, they're sharp enough, but they're not very sharp. あしの指あたりから少しずつちぎって流す。ちぎって流す。それを繰り返せば嵐不思議。あなたはいつの間にか密室を脱出しているの。あら、不思議ですね、ワガルチ。それって兄弟揃ってね、同じ末路ですね。
あなたの思考を乱す一切の思いは永遠になくなろうそいつは嬉しいぞ気づかなってせいせいすらこれは地獄の生還者からの忠告よこの賑やかさをよく楽しんでおきなさいあんたをムカつかせる悪行増言さえ永遠の静寂の中では正気を保つ温かな思い出になりうるんだからベルンやエリカが憎いよっならばそれはベルンたちの戦略を憎しみがある限りあなたは諦めるんだよ諦めるってのはねここでは意味が違うのよ諦めるなお手割れの努力が永遠であることは Love is one of the strongest driving emotions there is And what do they say the,、uh, the opposite side of the coin of love is? Oh, there you go. Don't think too hard about it. Set in. Pleading expression that sends shivers down the spine. Probably more terrifying than any threatening word she could have used、uh, with even the most vile expression on her face. It was time for Balor to realize logic error isn't so simplistic that you can just stick out your tongue, ask for forgiveness, and say you'll be more careful next time. Even if you feel that the fight is at a point where you can't back down, risking a logic error by leaving things up to chance is never. Risk you should take. It's time for him to pay up and understand the true risk and terror implied by the words betting one's life on a fight, which must sound so exciting for a man. You might hurt your head. Before we could finish saying Beato's name, they had all disappeared. They hadn't disappeared in a golden spray or turned into butterflies and flown away. As if they had never been anyone but him in this room to begin with. Battler blinked once, and everyone, was, everyone else was gone. Nothing remained. Other voices, their presence, Their warmth, nor even the faint perfume Beato had worn. The frigid air of the room was wrapped only with the lonely sound of the wind and the rain. With that overpowering feeling of isolation, I finally began to realize how horrible a punishment this would be. <laughs> yeah, keep calm, keep calm, deep breaths. 
出たり入ったりができるようになってるんだぜそれができなかったら部屋とは言わねえんだよ This is stupid It's easy to undo a lock and chain from the inside Damn it For some reason I've always been clumsy And doing chain locks always gives me trouble Aha It's off <laughs> What a stupid puzzle Look Now the door opens freely See Hey, what's this cold feeling on my neck? What the hell is this? Oh yeah, your collar. Why is there suddenly an iron collar around my neck that's attached to a chain? Oh, damn it, who would do something like that? When I reset the chain lock, it disappears. And when I undo it, it comes back. The chain is pretty long, so I can make it a little way out into the hallway. But I can't go far from the door. And if I close the door, stand on the outside and stick my hand through the crack, and just somehow set the chain. Ah! Why have I always been so clumsy? I'm not really clumsy, it's just that me and chain locks don't go well together. God damn it, I hate chain locks. I hate chains. Why won't it work? Why can't I set the chain lock from the outside? Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Now would you get a wait? How the turntables. <laughs> Beto called out to Battler repeatedly, shaking his shoulders hard, but by now, Battler's eyes were blank. The words didn't reach him. Bernstein and Erica had already left. The game was officially suspended until Battler could think of a new trick. But It's doubtful that it would be resumed even after a thousand years or more. Yeah, just a little see you later. Yeah, give us a couple hours. わたしたちは何人もの魔女に言わせてきたわ。そうして本当にゲームを再開できた魔女は幾人と知らない。私が知る限り、それは私とベルンだけよ。どうしてどうしてそんな地獄をしている人がその地獄に人を突き落とすん
Just look at all her locked threads. What a fucking nerd. ま、ラムダネルタの名で保証する。かつてのあんたならきっとこのミスツトリックを。And Smile later, nerd. Lambda Delta vanished into thin air. And left behind in the witch's tea room, where the two had held the title of Endless Witch. I, I totally read that sentence wrong. It was like, and left behind. Okay. Yep, okay. One had empty eyes, the other supported, the first by his side. Ironically, it was the exact opposite of how the relationship had been in the previous game. Can we get some like Renovate cookies to help him think? Sugar is good for your brain. Ugh. But with that, that's little thing is where we are going to end it here for today and it looks like we are finally returning to the very beginning of the episode next time on the next episode of huh? Umineko. I will catch you guys all then later. Bye. Mwah.